Whoa, 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 why such intense eye contact? I'm shy, shy. Whoa, 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 I'm, I'm ticket, I'm ticket, don't do that. What you're looking at here is a classic example of cultural difference. An extremely confused Asian man and three African people who just want to show him their culture. But that's just how African people dance. Nothing wrong. Today I got to see the biggest township in Africa, Soweto. It was the home to South African former president Nelson Mandela and now a home to over 1 million people. It has always been my dream to visit a mysterious African township. Tourists wouldn't go there. It's a complex community and you wouldn't go there without the company of the local Sulu man. The real African people hang out and live and play. Hello? Not like the shopping malls and stuff, that's just fake Africa. Hello? Hello. Hello. Before taking me to the township, David decided that I should see the African Dai Pai Dong. This is where we eat meat. It's, it's chill. It's really yes, good. really. So I feel so relaxed here. <laughs> you feel so relaxed. I can come here with Georgia. I understand they like meat, but I don't understand how Sulu people can dance anywhere, anytime. I'm almost jealous that they can be happy all the time. Look at David. Drinking and driving is technically not illegal, but drunk driving is. So when you know the limit hits, sharing is caring. Alright, Soweto guys. Soweto is around 30 minutes drive away from the city of Johannesburg. Guys, my first impression is that this township is actually very, very clean. You would think it's hectic, but Joburg city center is a lot more hectic. This is a lovely area. Keep playing around. Hi. Hi there. Happy birthday! Oh, thank you! Sikhe. Sikhe. Sikhe, yes. Go. It's very difficult, it's the age. Yeah, Sikhe. Yeah. David knows Soweto, but he's not from there. His friend Sikhe is. It's her birthday today. So guys, I just got the name of the thing that I'm wearing. It's called... Say it. Say it again? South Africa has 11 official languages and they can be difficult because sometimes they make a clicking sound. You need to... But if you're an Asian man, it seems like you wouldn't have to charm the ladies here with Zulu. What kind of Asian men are you interested in? Yeah. A lot of African ladies I've met in South Africa are mad about K-pop. Thanks to the Korean... Yeah. 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 So for my first African township experience, I was taken to a bar. Alright, David, how dare you do this? There's no way. Oh shit. It's time for me to rock Africa with my favorite drinking trick. Put your beer down? Yeah, you put your beer down here. Yeah, and then you go like this. You have to drink it! <laughs> you learn a new trick every day, hey? And today I just want to get my Malaysian viewers Hi Taurus, it's Cynthia here from Malaysia to teach you a new trick as well because she completed two Lingoda Super Sprint challenges oh. There are these languages for you to choose and they have different teachers and you can choose your own level and all the materials have been prepared to you so all you have to do is Rock up to class. I think the teacher is very nice. They are very helpful. Because you are with a same level, so you don't have to ask questions. So you can learn a lot. And now with Lingoda, instead of doing one class every day for three months to get all your tuition feedback, now you just need to do two months. With Sprint, you do 15 classes per month for two months to get half of your tuition feedback. And if you do Super Sprint, you attend a class every day for 30 days for two months to get all your tuition feedback. And ladies and gentlemen, if you use my promo code here, you get 20 euro off your deposit. I believe 
believe that acquiring a new language would change your life and you get to see things that other people might not have the opportunity to see. Like without English, I wouldn't be able to venture into the African township and make friends and party with the people there. Join Lingoda in 2020, get yourself ready to see a whole different world. Money is the thing that motivates me. You have to drink it! <laughs> Apart from killing time in the bar, right, people so in the to... township really enjoy gambling. Soweto gambling. And you gamble with rocks. No, they're putting it on top so that the, the egg doesn't throw the cats away. When you play blackjack, it's winner winner chicken dinner. Winner winner chicken dinner. When you play Soweto poker, it's winner winner buy my peanut. So I said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Alright, how much is one? Uh, my peanut is only six rand and my snack is only one rand and, and my chocolate is only five rand each to put it ten rand. Look how that's a mucker. I you hui so guang dong hua. I gave him ten rand and didn't take any of his snacks. Parking guards on the sideline saw it and thought they could just take them. No no, just the one rand. Not cool, I wasn't buying for anyone. 隔離都跟前那位靚仔都睇唔過眼啊,小可愛快點走吧,這裡是成人的地方,以後我買你幾蚊雞也冇老細錢老細好啦。So we went to a bar in the township, but people in Soweto prefer drinking and partying in the street. It's cheaper and you can play any music you like. David sound system made sure the whole Soweto heard his songs. Yeah. And uh So behind me is a township Shabin. They are where street party goers visit when they are running low on alcohol. David is having a hard time finding it because the Shabin hides behind one of these gates. You buy the alcohol and you drink it in the street again. In Soweto, there are no Friday or Saturday nights. You go to a Shabin, play your music, every day is a party day. African people are all about dancing. They have a dance for every song. Like this song, it's about like, please arrest me. <laughs> the truth is, I think if I keep dancing like this, the police might actually arrest me. African people have such good musical talent. It's like within their genes, I can, I can never keep up. After a few hours of dancing in the street, people in the township would go eat meat. Alright guys, this is like South African carbs. We'll see how they eat. So I have to dip it in... Um... Spicy. Yeah, this is like... The soup. Oh, wow. Left hand pop, right hand meat. The real township style.